we present Environment-Aware Motion Matching, a novel, real-time system designed to dynamically animate the full-body pose of a character in response to its surroundings, taking into account nearby dynamic obstacles and other agents. Our animation system utilizes mocap data to simultaneously compute both the pose and the trajectory of the agent, incorporating collision avoidance. Our characters exhibit natural adaptation to environmental elements by simultaneously adjusting body pose and trajectory as needed. Traditional motion matching works by extracting features from an animation database, and then searching for a sequence of poses that follows the target trajectory and ensures continuity from the current pose. This approach completely ignores the surroundings or the character or other multi-agent interactions. Although additional features can be included in the feature database, such as the local position of an object, this has to be pre-recorded and paired with the database, making the database impractical and limiting generalizability. Instead, we introduce the concept of environment features. Fundamentally, these features do not assume anything about the environment and are used to dynamically compute penalizations that guide the search process based on the changing surroundings. This requires an optimized two-stage search process, since environment features are not directly compared to a predefined query vector. Particularly, during a pre-processing stage, we encode the environment features as 2D ellipses representing the projection of the character's body shape. At runtime, ellipses are used to compute the minimum distance to obstacles and evaluate it using a log barrier function, which imposes an exponentially increasing penalty as the distance approaches zero. The resulting motion adheres to the user's input while dynamically adapting to the environment. With straightforward input controls such as the arrow keys on a keyboard, we can achieve very complex motion control. The animation database is constructed from a large, unstructured, single-actor mocap database. No information about the surrounding environment is needed, only an actor performing different types of locomotion and avoidance behavior as needed. Next, we demonstrate the versatility of our method across a variety of scenarios and configurations. We start by comparing our method with standard motion matching. The character dressed in black is animated with the standard motion matching and does not respect the environmental constraints. In contrast, our character in a red t-shirt can follow the user input while dynamically adapting to the environment. A key advantage of our environment features is their capability to compute real-time penalizations without making assumptions about the environment. This means that our system can quickly adapt to dynamic obstacles. Without any user input, our system automatically causes the character to take a few steps to avoid collision as the cubes approach. Now, our character is traversing a corridor. As the corridor narrows, the character reduces its velocity and then begins to turn its body, ultimately traversing the narrowest section by sidestepping. Once the corridor widens again, the character naturally resumes running. For multi-character interaction, we independently animate each character with our environment-aware motion matching system. In this experiment, two characters are walking towards each other in corridors of varying widths. When the corridor provides ample space, both characters can walk naturally with minimal torso movement. However, when the corridor is considerably narrower, characters are required to carefully avoid each other. Larger crowds can also be animated. Characters decide to move their torso and naturally stop to avoid collisions depending on their surroundings and their current pose and velocity. Our framework is designed with the generalization of the environment features in mind. Fundamentally, these features are used to compute penalizations that guide the search process based on the dynamically changing environment. Thus, we are not limited to encoding 2D ellipses. For instance, we extend the environment features by incorporating height information to determine whether a character should jump or crouch to avoid vertical obstacles. Our method offers a straightforward integration into crowd simulation algorithms. These can generate global target trajectories, and our system then produces root motion that locally avoids obstacles, perfectly synchronized with realistic poses. Also, by adjusting the high-level controls that we provide, it is possible to obtain different behaviors. Here, agents are less impatient than the previous ones. Finally, numerous styles can be achieved by simply changing the animation database without any special adjustments. It just works.
Yeah, our character likes to walk, elbows up, but he gets shy near other characters. Thank you for watching.